So let's look at uh, x plus y squared equals 9. I'll run through these a little bit faster this time to save some time. So we'll test for y-axis symmetry first. Um, to do that, I change out the x. So it becomes negative x plus y squared is equal to 9. Um, and on this one, the only way to really um, test this against the original is to, if you get 9 by itself, I guess, then you could see if the other side is the same. When we switch out the x for the negative x, definitely this left side and this left side are different, whereas the right sides are the same. They haven't changed. And so this new equation is different from the original equation. Um, and so because this side here is not equal to the original x plus y squared, I would say that there is no y-axis symmetry on this one. Um, so let's check the x-axis now. x-axis, I switch out the y's. So I get x plus negative y squared equals 9. But we determined already that the opposite of something squared is the same as the original thing squared. So this is actually the same as y squared. And now I have the original equation because the square absorbs the negative, right? the negative disappears, I have the exact same equation as we started with. And as long as we can get back to that exact same equation, I can say that this does have x-axis symmetry. Okay, So it has x-axis symmetry. Okay, Now, um, it is possible to have more than one type of symmetry. You could actually have uh, all of these at the same time, in fact. Um, however, it is not possible to have two of them and not the third. So, um, so in other words, we can tell right away that there's no way to get origin symmetry if we don't. We'd have to have both of these basically to have origin symmetry. Um, however, is that right? Well, yes and no. Um, some origin symmetries will have neither of these, but you can't have one without the other and have origin. It's maybe that. Maybe I'm going too far. Maybe it's better just to test it. Uh, I know that if I have one of the other two and not the other, then I can't have origin. But we'll test it anyway just to double check. So replace x with negative x, replace y with negative y. Now the negative on the y disappears because of the square, but the negative on the x does not. And this equation differs from the original in the sign on the x value variable, which is which makes the equation different, right? So this is not equal to x plus y squared, and so there's no origin symmetry. Origin symmetry, I guess what I was trying to say a minute ago was that origin symmetry only occurs if you have um, if you either have to have both of these or neither of them and then this one still happens okay so you can't have you can't have no x or i'm sorry you can't have no y-axis symmetry but x-axis and still get origin that wouldn't work that way okay uh in the next video we'll run through the last example